My name is Mary Alice Young. When I recall my time on Wisteria Lane, I think mostly of good things. Well-maintained lawns, and even better maintained housewives. Of course, there is another side to life on this idyllic street. A darker side, one that my friends and neighbors would do anything to cover up. While we all wish to be the person our neighbors envision us to be, there are always secrets we don't want our neighbors to know. Some are secrets in name only, out in the open for all the world to see. While others find that no matter how much they try to conceal the truth, somehow things always find a way to come back to the surface. As the most successful real estate broker in town, Edie Britt has always understood the importance of first impressions. A bad first impression can cause a prospective buyer to question their decision, while a strong impression will allow you to beat prospective buyers to the punch. However, first impressions can often be misleading. When Edie first met her new neighbors, she thought she had met the perfect family. But as Edie and everyone else in the neighborhood will soon find out, there's no, there's no such thing as the perfect family. Sometimes, the stars align and two people hit it off immediately. Other times, only time will tell whom will prove to be a friend. And who will reveal themselves to be a worthy adversary. The most successful families are the ones that work together to achieve their goals. Of course, even the best-run households have the occasional kink or two to work out. But the truth is that no matter how well things seem to come together in a family, appearances can be deceiving. And when it comes to friends and neighbors, appearances often have precious little to do with the reality of what's going on behind closed doors. And now, the news that matters. Your quiet neighborhood may not be as peaceful as you think. A new study has shown a sharp increase in juvenile perpetrators of violent and drug-related crimes, especially in suburban areas. When asked about this increase in crime, researchers responded, and I quote, We believe this is the result of the dissolution of the American family. Kids don't feel comfortable talking to their parents, so they turn to other more questionable forms of guidance, such as their peers, the internet, or video games. Even worse, this could be happening under your very nose. The group verified their data with the Fairview Police Department, who agreed. Rising criminal activity rates indicate local youths are engaging in increasingly violent behavior. Keep an eye out. Your teenager could be next. Jennifer? Wow, that's really something, Bob. We'll be right back with sports. Especially when it comes to friends and family, truth can often be a dangerous thing. It sometimes seems concealing the truth from those closest to us 
is often the best course of action. On the other hand, when we discover what lies beneath, we may find the harsh reality forces us to grow even closer. Even if it temporarily pushes us further apart. Sometimes we find out the hard way that knowledge can be a dangerous thing. And as Eve discovered in that infamous garden, too much of it can get you in a whole lot. Fool ourselves into believing that true perfection is an attainable goal. But when others enter the equation, this can seem impossible. While focusing on the trivial aspects of life, we often fail to notice what is right under our noses. We may also learn that no matter how unpleasant things appear to be, there is always room for them to get more unpleasant. Life is filled with difficult choices, and with every one of these choices comes the risk of regret. Regret can remind us of past mistakes in order to avoid making the same bad choices in the future. But sometimes we are forced to live with our mistakes and face the compromises we made, the ones that seemed reasonable at the time. The ones that sometimes rear their ugly heads in ways we could not imagine and cause us to regret once more. My good friend Bree Vandekamp's dinner parties were always the talk of Wisteria Lane. She prided herself on the perfection of everything in her home. From being the perfect host, to making the perfect hors d'oeuvres. Although she was comfortable in the knowledge that she threw the best dinner parties on Wisteria Lane, Bree didn't consider herself a competitive person. However, sometimes all it takes is one little thing. For someone's true nature to be brought to light. Competition. It's hardwired into us from an early age. It can bring out the best, as well as the worst. And while every competition has its winners, it must by definition have its losers as well. Sometimes it's best to stand back in order to allow others to shine. Any fashion designer will tell you the right design communicates something powerful to all observers. The right outfit can help us express many facets of our personalities. Sometimes even more than mere words. Although sometimes we choose our clothing to intentionally hide what lies beneath. From the day we are born, all of us want to be appreciated. And while some can't get enough attention, others can get by with just the occasional bit of it now and then.
sometimes when it comes to being appreciated, the most important question is not whether we are getting attention, but who in particular is giving it. How we respond to the attention of strangers often dictates how we are perceived. Shying away from it too much can lead to suspicion. Whereas welcoming attention may be a tacit agreement to another's advances. But sometimes it's even more puzzling determining why the attention is paid in the first place. To my good friend Bree Vandekamp, cooking is both an art form and a skill. It requires creative vision to prepare unique and interesting dishes. and an almost scientific precision is required to ensure success. It is the many intangibles, determination, focus, and most importantly, persistence, that separate the merely good from the great. Facing the truth can be a difficult task for even the strongest among us. Often it means facing our worst demons head on. But sometimes the truth is simply too much to bear. And we find ourselves full of fear and self-loathing. Totally alone in the world, even if we're in a room full of people. Security can be difficult to acquire. Some of us pursue security in the company of others whereas others rely on more complicated measures. But regardless of what means we choose to protect ourselves, there is no question that there are few things as unsettling as when our own security is called into question. In an idyllic place like Wisteria Lane, it's easy to take things for granted. The comfort and strength that only a spouse can offer. The support of a family. And the health and safety of one's children. For poor Frank Fox, he'll never have the opportunity to tell his little brother how much he loved him. How much he respected him and how far he will go to avenge his death. For some people, tragedy creates a burden too overwhelming to bear. And while mourning may provide relief for many of us, for others it does nothing to alleviate their pain and suffering. In Frank Fox's case, it only fuels his rage toward the people who committed this heinous act and we run the risk of watching one tragedy quickly lead into another.
Most people's lives are driven by fear. Fear of hidden dangers. Fear of secrets being discovered. Or fear of the unknown. But sometimes, what we think may be a demon lurking in the shadows turns out to be merely our guardian angel in disguise. There are people who spend a lifetime earning the respect and admiration of their peers and neighbors. It can all be for naught. When one's decency is called into question. To succeed in life, it is important to understand when it's time to fight the good fight and when it's time to make amends. Even though this can be frustrating, it's a fact of life. But when things are taken too far, we may well find ourselves forced to pay the price for years to come. About a terrible situation, one must choose to address their problems head on. or simply deal with the circumstances at hand. When faced with the complexity of life and the tough decisions that must be made, sometimes one has to wonder if there is any wisdom to the thought that ignorance is bliss. Over the years, I've learned the hard way that there are no simple choices in life. Since my departure, Things seem to have gotten even more complicated for my friends on Wisteria Lane, as well as my newest neighbor. Indeed, making a choice between the status quo, the chance to live on the edge, or to rekindle a long-lost passion, is a difficult and complicated affair. But sometimes, we find ourselves with no other option than to make a choice and we can find the very decision liberal. When faced with tough decisions, one is often forced to make sacrifices. Some of us choose to sacrifice the potential for an exciting and dangerous lifestyle, while others decide to walk away from the sacred bond of unconditional love. Some of us choose to stand by those who have supported us for years, in pursuit 
of the long-sought happiness that has eluded them for so long. For although our choices may never be perfect, with time, effort, and the support of our friends, we all can find a way to be happy. Or at least to survive, nonetheless.